All right, what's up, Dreamer Tribe? What's up, world? I am Bianca, and welcome to the third part of our 100% complete platinum walkthrough slash guide for Root Film, this awesome murder mystery visual novel from P-Cube Games and Kodokawa Games. Now, for today's video, for today's episode, we will be tackling Riho's first chapter. Now, unlike the previous episode, unlike Yagumo's second chapter, this one is a lot shorter. It only has five chapters in total, and it introduces the second central character to this whole game, which is Riho. Now, for this, again, for this episode, we'll be tackling five chapters of Riho's first uh, well, chapter. Uh, those are the prologue, chapter one, chapter two, the solution, and then the epilogue. Again, it's quite shorter than our previous episode, but you know, we'll talk more later. Right now, let's just get right into the chapter itself. Enjoy. そう、はい。いいよ。めっちゃ生えてるよ。Lake Shinji, a lake straddling the border between Matsue and Izumo City in the Shimani Prefecture. The bright sunlight over that lake shined down on the photo shoot of one up and coming actress. Having finished filming, the cameraman approaches Riho, who had just left the minibus after changing. Riho-chan, the cameraman grabbed Riho by the hand. Riho instinctively pulled her body back, startled by the sudden contact. こういう仕事はさ、通り一遍じゃダメなの、わかる通り一遍そう、通り一遍じゃダメつまり、通り一遍車一区ですねは知りませんか東海道中膝繰り毛あ、えっとほらほら、ダジャレの広い食いはやめ
そういう行為はうちの事務所的に NG とお伝えしているはずですよね念のため言っておきますが私はリホにカメラ慣れさせるためまめにハンディビデオを回していますもちろん先ほどからの様子も撮影済みですがえああいやこれは違いますよいやだな違いますよあれですよあのあれあれとは何ですかマナビス tone turned harsher and as if in reverse proportion to her voice the cameraman seemed to become smaller なんというか事故というかわざとじゃないというか偶然というかいや本当すみませんでした The cameraman finally snapped under Manabe's pressure and took off. Arigato! Tascata, yo, Manabe! Anna chimpira mi tai nano. Karek sabakeri yo, nari na sai yo. Ore kara ikura de ma ayo toko wa dete kuru nda kara. Sabake te iware te mo. Sakana ja nai nda kara, son na kanta ni ikka nai yo. So, yeah, Manabe is actually one of my favorite characters on Riho's side of the story because of how she is overly protective of Riho. ま、自分の身は自分で守ってもらわないと。頑張ります。さて、今日はもう予定もないし、宿のチェックインを済ませてしまいましょうか。あ、待って待って。私、地元の友達と会う約束があるんだよ。高校の時の同級生なんだけど
もう約束の時間だけどまだ来ていないのミエが時間に遅れることなんてないと思うけど。Riho looked around when a woman who stood next to the water basin for cleansing one's hands walked up to her with a smile. Riho, Sashibri. What? Moshka, the Mie? Mie, da yo, ne? So, da yo. Riho, kire ni nata ne. Saisho, mita toki, kizuka na kata yo. Mie, koso, sukko, ko, otona poke na te. Se mo no bi tan janai? The two rejoiced over their reunion for a while, holding hands and hopping about happily. After calming down, Riho turned around to face Manabe. ミエは昔から郷土史に興味があってすごく勉強してたから島根に詳しいんだなるほど郷土史研究家というわけですね研究家とかそんな大層なものじゃないですけど観光ガイド代わりくらいはできますので任せてくださいええお願いしますね任せちゃいます All right, so in order to progress from this location and to progress the entire story, there are two things, well, three actually, that we have to do in this location, in Miho Shrine. First, we have to inspect the shrine several times until there's no new dialogue, you know, until we've exhausted all the dialogue regarding the shrine itself. Then we have to talk to these two, to Mie and to Manabe. So, first, let's go ahead and interact with the shrine. Mie, what is the name of the shrine? The name of the shrine is the name of the shrine. The name of the shrine is the name of the shrine. The name of the shrine is the name of the shrine. The name of the shrine is the name of the shrine. The name of the shrine is the name of the shrine. The name of the shrine is the name of the shrine. The name of the shrine is the name of the shrine. The name of the shrine is the name of the shrine. 千年以上も前気の遠くなるような歴史がこの神社にはあるのですねと言っても本殿は一度御穂の石大化で消失しているんで今の本殿は江戸時代後期に再建されたものですけどね肥沃大社造り通称御穂造りの本殿建築はとっても見応えがあると思いますそれに特筆すべきは青伏垣神事御船で行われるんですけど船に大幕を張って周囲に見えないように儀式が行われるんです10日間続く儀式では主役の東野カンヌさんが断食で倒れそうになるくらい大変で Mie apparently got rolling at which point it was hard to stop her constant stream of commentary Riho and Manabi were simply left to drown in this constant flood of incomprehensible lingo and information Okay, let's Select the shrine again. The shrine is built in two buildings. The shrine of the Miho Tsuhime and the Miho Tsuhime are living in the same place. The Miho Tsuhime and the Miho Tsuhime are living in the same place. The Miho Tsuhime and the Miho Tsuhime are living in the same place. The Miho Tsuhime and the Miho Tsuhime are living in the same place. The Miho Tsuhime and the Miho Tsuhime are living in the same place. The Miho Tsuhime and the Miho Tsuhime are living in the same place. So yeah, we've already exhausted dialogue here at the shrine. So let's talk to um, to Mie and to Manabe. Let's start with Mie first. Mie さんはこちらの大学に通っているのですか？はい、島根中央大学の三年生です。小泉八雲の研究をしたくて。小泉八雲、階段を書いた方ですね。そうですそうです本名パトリック・ラフカディオ・ハーン日本に来て小泉節さんと結婚して末裔に住んだんですねこの美穂神社も小泉八雲が訪れていたという記録があるんですよなるほどねえねえ他には何かないのこの神社のこともっといろいろ聞かせてようーんとねこの神社のご祭神である琴城主なんだけど
その神様は国譲りに深く関わる神様なのね国譲り簡単に説明すると琴城主やそのお父さんの大国主が戦に敗れて出雲の国を天津神に譲り渡したってお話戦に負けた琴城主は海に浮かべた船をひっくり返してその下に身を隠したんだってなるほど私の弟もプリンの争奪戦に負けるとふてくされてよく押し入れに身を隠してたけど似たようなもんだねああうんそうかな And talk to her again? 国譲りって言葉はなんか聞いた気がしてたけどそんな話だったんだねもともとの出雲の神様が負けちゃったんだリーホったら日本史の授業の時に先生が話してたの聞いてなかったでしょそうだっけ<笑>確かに全然聞いてなかったかもそれに神様同士の一騎打ちがあった記述はあるけど戦っていうほどの争いがあったかどうかはまだはっきりしてないの話し合いの最中はそりゃ揉めたでしょうけど比較的平和に国譲りが行われたという説もあるんだしなるほど私はそっちだったって方がいいな And just for her good measure, let's talk to her again Okay, so nothing new. Let's skip through these and talk to Manabe. Manabe is a manager of Riho. What kind of role do you do when you're in Riho? I've been given a lot of attention to the people. I've been given a lot of attention to the people. I've been given a lot of attention to the people. ミエさんは知的で教養があって素晴らしいですねえー、私だって演技の勉強してるじゃんそういうのじゃなくて読書でもして教養も身につけなさいって言ってるの昨今おバカタレントだって本当のバカじゃ務まらないんですからね程よくおバカを演じて視聴者の皆さんに笑いとちょっぴりの優越感を提供するそのバランスが大事なのよそれなら大丈夫ミステリーはたくさん読んでるよホームズやポアロの古典から最近のやつまでエリゴのみなしああリホは昔からミステリー好きだったもんねミステリーねあんまり教養の役には立たなそうだけど活字に触れてるだけなしか And the exit icon has appeared so let's leave ところでお二人は明日も島根にいる予定なんですかそうですね次のドラマに向けて島根の雰囲気をつかんでおきたいのでもうしばらくはこちらにいる予定ですなんで明日も観光に三重が付き合ってくれると嬉しいなうんそもそもそういうつもりで予定開けてあるから任せといて今日は近場のところをざっと回って明日は少し足を伸ばす感じで考えてるから。いいねこちらに詳しい三重がいてくれてほんと助かるよ<笑>それじゃあもうちょっと近くを回ろうか OK so we now have three locations we can visit but to continue on with the story we're heading to Mihokan next They soon arrived at the Miho Inn and Manabi swiftly finished their check in procedures. リホのいびきと寝相の悪さで今まで私が何度真夜中に叩き起こされてきたと思ってるの叩き起こすってな大げさなリホあなた騒音痴って言葉知ってる音の大きさを表す単位なんだけどねこれこの前あなたの寝てる間に録音した計測器の値120デシベルって書いてるでしょうんそれがどうしたのこれ耳元でジェットエンジンの音を聞いてるのと同じ音量なのよ
ジェットエンジンどうせならそのまま離陸して飛んでってくれないかって何度思ったことかあーえー、っとそのなんかごめんなさい真鍋にはいつも感謝してますはい。Feeling apologetic, Riho resolves to treat Manabe more gently and considerably. Okay, next we're heading back to Matsue. Then to Matsue Castle. Riho, Mie, and Manabe visited Matsue Castle. One of the rare few castles made in the Edo period that still has intact keeps. I was the first one to go to the house. Do you want to go to the house? Yes, I can go to the house. The house? I think it's the one who is the most famous one. It's good. It's a good place to be a girl. I'm going to make it right now. I'm going to make it a girl. いやしたいのは見た目じゃなくて暮らしの方だってかわいい腰元たくさんはべらかして毎日遊んで暮らしたいのそれもどうかと思うけど That's when it happens The sound of Mie's cell phone rings out from her pocket あごめんなさいちょっと失礼しますね She pulled out her cell phone and her face lit up as soon as she pressed the phone to her ear. Mie must have been close to whoever it was because her voice was quite cheerful. Mie put the phone aside and turned to face Riho. よければ夕食お友達もご一緒しないかっていいかなもちろんリホいいってお父さんまた後でねなんかミエすっごく嬉しそうお父さんと仲いいんだねうんお父さんも考古学や民族学に興味があって一緒に話するとすごく楽しいの。最近は岩手に出向しててなかなかこっちに戻ってこなかったんだけど突然どうしたのかなきっとミエの顔を見たくなったんじゃないそうなのかなきっとそうだよそれじゃあ食事の場所に向かおううんレストランベアっていうお店を予約したって言ってたからここからなら歩いて15分くらいだよ So yeah, we only have one place we can go to right now. It's Restaurant Bear, which is honestly a weird name for a restaurant, but whatever. Let's head here. There were already a few groups sitting at the restaurant, chatting and laughing cheerfully. Ryo's group was led to a table for four, where they took a seat. This restaurant has a drink of original drinks. It's a very good Italian restaurant. Riho and Manabe said enthusiastically as they look through the lavish menu. Mie, on the other hand, has been fidgeting ner nervously ever since they took a seat. Manabe whispered to Riho. お父さんが好きっていうか好きすぎるというかムナベ speaks awkwardly staying as non-committal as possible ああミエってば昔からお父さん子だったから島根の大学に通い始めてお父さんと離れ離れになっちゃったからずっと寂しかったんだと思うそうちょっと意外だったわミエさんぐらいの年頃だと父親にはきつく当たる人が多いからまあ私もそんな感じだったけどね Alright, so we have a lot of things that need to be done here to, for you know, the game to progress So first things first, let's talk to Mie and Manabe 
Mie's been agitated for a while now and every time Riho tries to speak to her, she replies absent-mindedly. She must be looking forward to meeting her dad. She's been fidgety for a while now. Again? So yeah, doesn't say anything new, so Manabe. そりゃ、商談で相手を待つなんていくらでもあるからね。うん。デートでも男に待たされるタイプって感じだし。違います。私は男を待たせる方です。そういうことにしときましょう。<笑> Then we examine this girl here at the background. A young woman is seated all on her own at one of the other tables. She's likely waiting for someone too because she keeps looking at her wristwatch nervously. And then we examine this guy. A middle-aged man enters the restaurant and started looking around. Realizing he must be looking for someone, Riho points him out to Mie, who... Sure enough, that man is Mie's father. He approaches Riho's table with a gentle smile. Mie, who didn't often let her feelings show, hugged Kosako, Kosaku with clear enthusiasm. A waiter approaches them, likely keenly noticing all four seats have been taken. メインディッシュはこちらから選んでいただけますが。私はロティサリーチキンで。皆さんはどうされますかえっと、私はこっちのカクテルで。メインディッシュは。それじゃあ私はワインを。With their dishes on the table, they all had a toast and began their small celebration. こんばんは。ミエの父です。娘がお世話になってます。Manabe bows her head. マネージャー。ひょっとしてアイドルか何かやられているのですかアイドルじゃなくて女優さんだよ。この後島根で主演のドラマ撮影があるんだって。へえ、それはすごいな。ミエ、今のうちにサイン<笑> <laughs> a few minutes of bantering, the waiter arrives with their drinks. Kosaku started their modest banquet with a toast. So now we have to converse with Mie, Kosaku, and of course Manabe until the scene progresses. お父さん、今日は私のとこ泊まるの? Mie was clearly disheartened, to which Kosaku hurriedly, hurriedly patched things up. Mie really does love, love her dad, huh? Next, Kosaku. お父さん、恥ずかしいってば。この子は見ての通り昔から引っ込み思案でね。不死家庭で私が甘やかしすぎたせいかもしれないが。リホさんと知り合ってからこの子が目に見えて明るい表情をするようになったんです。私ぜひ
いやそんなミエと話すのは楽しいしこっちこそずっと友達でいてほしいっていうかねミエう,うんありがとうリホ And then Manabe 工作さんはこちらにはお仕事でいえ今回はただの休暇です娘の顔も見たかったし少し面倒な用事もあったもので面倒な用事ですかえああいえそうは言っても大した要件ではありませんよ<笑> And again just keep talking to them until the scene progresses なんで急に島根に帰ってきたのいやちょっといろいろあってねそれってもしかしてうん、なんでもない The pleasant conversation is disturbed by the sudden sound of a ringtone. As Kosaku glances at his phone, his expression turns severe and he rises from his seat. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Kosaku returns to his seat no longer as calm as he was before. He was upset by something and made no effort to hide it. Sorry, I'm sorry. 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 Mie sees him off with a somewhat anxious gaze, and Kosaku walks away without answering her concerns. Riho tried to soothe Mie, but those words didn't seem to reach her. A call cries out to them from one of the inner tables. Riho recognizes that person with a glance. It was the woman from one of the tables, the one that kept checking her watch. Mie replies with a dubious expression, and the woman regards her with a grin. え、そ、そうですけど。ああ、やっぱそっか。なんか見覚えある顔だと思ってたんだよね。写真でしか見たことないし、微妙に自信なかったから声かけなかったんだけどさ。あの、父のお知り合いですか。ああ、ごめんご
Riho finished her dinner, after which she and Manabe part with Mie and stroll to, through Matsue. The chilly night breeze blues, blows pleasantly against Miho's mildly flushed face. Riho puffed her cheeks as if bothered, but Manabe was already pointing the camcorder her way. The moment she switched on the camera, Riho switched gears and put on her expression as an actress. Early next morning at the Miho Inn, Riho looks out the window absent-mindedly, her mind still groggy from low blood pressure. Before her eyes is the lovely sight of the morning sunshine sparkling against Miho no Seki's waves. <laughs> Riho gives this vague reply to Manabe, who had come to her room to pick her up. Suddenly, they hear a modest knocking from the door. Riho rubs her sleepy eyes and approaches the door with this nondescript sound. Click, Riho opens the door carelessly, only to find... Mie is hanging her head silently. Riho silently realizes something is wrong. After inviting Mie, who was still hanging her head into the room, Riho asks again.珍しいなって思ったんだけど、今朝も何度電話してみても繋がらなくて。お父さんの滞在しているホテルに問い合わせてみましたか？してみましたけど、そしたら昨日は戻ってきてないって。お父さん、真面目な人だから、こんな風に
The Nakaumi is a lake that spans Matsue and Yasugi city, all the way to the port town that borders with the Tori prefecture. A patrol car arrives and takes Riho and her group to the wharf. There are already a few patrol cars parked there, and they could see the automobile being pulled out of the water. あ、わざわざここまで足を運んでいただきすみません。えっと、お三方とも a uh, manba versus gaze to one side. His gaze is fixed on a blue sheet, covering something that is roughly the size of a person. Mie approaches the sheet with wobbly steps and slowly pulls it back. Her eyes open wide and her hand stops in shock. A moment that feels as long as eternity passes by. Riho silently watches over Mie, and Manabe looks away, unable to watch. This shout that borders on a scream gently shakes the waters of Nakaumi. <laughs> Riho hurries and catches Mie, who is about to crumble to her knees in her arms. この <laughs> Until Mie eventually calmed down, her screams and sobs echoed across the Naku across the Nakaumi wharf. And as she did, Riho said nothing. She simply embraced her slender form wordlessly. One hour later, Riho and Manabe take the weeping Mie back to her studio apartment and then head back to the Miho Inn with grave expressions. The two of them walk on wordlessly. But eventually, Riho stops in her tracks. Riho? Manabe, I'm not ダメって何が何かもう腹が立ってどうしようもないの。あの
それもあまり気持ちのいい相手じゃない人にきっとその人と会った時何かあったんだよつまりつまりミエのために私はこの事件をしっかり調べたい、はあ、そういう結論になるんだろうなと思ったわよダメダメって言ってもやるんでしょどうせ今回の旅行用にスケジュールは空けてあったんだし納得するまでやるといいわうんでも真鍋は別行動しててもいいけどそんなわけにはいきませんあなたみたいに危なっかしい子に一人でそんな真似させられないでしょマネージャーとしてとことん付き合ってあげるわようんありがとう真鍋リホ bows happily and Manabi simply cracks a sardonic smile. The two of them then hasten their steps as if to show their resolve toward tackling this mystery. Okay, so we are heading back to Nakaumi Pier. The police investigation of the Nakaumi docks is still ongoing. The autopsy likely hadn't been done yet since the body was still covered by the blue sheet. Okay, so here we have to do several things. First, we have to talk to this detective. Next, we're gonna talk to this woman and then examine the car and then talk to the detective again.、Um, and so let's get right to it because there are so many steps for this location. <laughs> 遺体の検視解剖はいつ行われる予定ですか手続きがあるので最低でも1週間はかかるかなそれで済んだら早い方だと思ってもらいたいねそれじゃあそれまでは飲酒運転だったかどうかわからないってことですかいやほぼ間違いないんじゃないかなそうじゃなかったらドライブレコーダーに残ってたあの蛇行運転は考えにくいよ私たちは私たちは絶対に飲酒運転などではないと思ってますうんそう思う根拠が何かあるのかな娘であるミエが耕作さんのことをそんな人じゃないって言ってるんですだからそれを信じますうんそうか飲酒運転かどうかつまり血中アルコール濃度についてだったら検視結果を待たずに即日わかると思うよすでに遺体から血液採取が行われていて仮想に検査を依頼してあるからね本当ですかああだが君は娘のミエさんを失望させる結果にならないといいんだがな OK then we talk to the woman あの人誰かしらね Manabe says while eyeing the area around the blue sheet, sheet suspiciously Riho follows her gaze only to find herself looking at a woman clad in traditional Japanese clothes. She looked quite out of place. As the woman walked away from the blue sheet briskly and addressed Manba. すでに今年城の家とは無関係なのですからこれ以上の関わりはごめんこうむりたいものですわねはあ、はあ、おっしゃる通りでただあの少し彼についてお話を伺うことはそれは強制ですのであれば令状を見せていただきたいのですがああいやいや任意ですあくまでご都合がよろしければとすみませんがうちも当主の彦左衛門が他界したばかりでバタバタしております今日もこれから不問院で葬儀の打ち合わせをしなければなりませんので遠慮させていただきますああそ,そうですかではまたご協力ありがとうございましたマンバサルーレッドアズヒアフマイガッシュそういやデルズエプラフォーラアフ Um, typo errors here,、uh, you know, in this game entirely, and we saw a lot of that in the previous episode. But yeah, it continues on, and I think it's 
somewhat worsens as the game progresses. But anyway, Manba saluted as the woman walked off, paying him no heed. こう yeah, but before we can actually follow that woman, we still have a couple of things that we need to do here, like examining this car. Apparently, the car had been pulled out of the water and is now being towed down by a crane. Their, seaweeds, uh, their seaweed coiled around the car's frame, which had apparently clung to the car underwater. The car itself doesn't seem to be damaged from the looks of it, so it's not like something rammed the car and sent it plummeting into the water. So why? And then we talk to the detective again. ちょっと so yeah, Riho also has the same power or the same ability as Yakumo. As soon as Manba says that, Riho feels the view before her eyes distort as his words act out in her mind's eye. Riho knew this feeling. Synesthesia. A unique sensation she and her family experience at times. So yeah, you you guys can guess who Riho actually is, right? The sensation, these words, I have to remember them. So yeah, we're doing just that. Kosaku's car sank into the lake at 9.30 p.m. memorized. <laughs> わたしたちと別れてすぐにここに向かったんだね。ん8時 yeah, the question who he met with feel, feels important. Kusaku really did act strange back then. So yeah, we have nothing else to do here, so let's leave. Because we're heading to Fumi... Uh, I mean, Fumonin next. Right here. Riho and Manabe arrived in Fumonin. They crossed the magnificent temple gate and reached the main temple. It is built with an impressive tilted roof style. Suddenly the sound of cussing, quite inappropriate for a temple's grounds, reaches Riho's ears. Riho and Manabe hide in the shadows, looking ahead as the shouting didn't seem to be dying down any. They see a stern-faced man clad in traditional clothes, scolding and shouting at a young man. Uh, 
The middle-aged man kicks the younger man in the stomach, prompting him to bend over, his face contorting in pain. Huh? Riho, who was watching this take place, almost burst out of her hiding spot when... The man Ayane called Uncle Seiji walks off with a scoff, perhaps put off but <laughs> perhaps put off by her sharp glare. Riho whispers to Manabe as she watches over the scene. <音声><音声><音声><音声><音声> Riho and Manabe nod at each other, stepped out of the shadows, and approached the two inconspicuously. Riho greets and engages her in small talk for a while. She must mean that Uncle Seiji. そっか。ま、父親が突然亡くなったらそうだよね。初めて顔を合わせたばかりだし、正直いいとこって言ってもあんまりピンとこないけどさ。まあ、くよくよしないで元気出せって伝えといてよ。That's kind of, you know, not not a good um thing to say. That's kind of, you know, not not a good um idea to say to some someone who just lost a loved one. It's it seems uh, callous to say something like that. It, it's not helpful at all, you know, just saying. Okay, so here we have to talk to these two because they will be providing vital information for us. Um, before we talk with uh, talk to Ayane, rather, we'll talk to. Uh, カズヤ、ファースト。でも、今時使用人なんて不思議な感じですね。それも先祖代々のなんて。まあ、今年ロケといえば、松江市内でも知られたメーカーですから。今年ロヌ氏の御言葉を祀って、その御家号を受けてき
wasn't drunk driving, that that wasn't the uh, cause of his death. Which means that Uncle Seiji has a good enough motive to kill Kosaku, precisely. Okay, next we have to talk to Ayane again. ああ、なんでお母さんのこと知ってんの Riho writes down the address Ayane gives her. Now we can ask the Kotoshiro family some questions. I should speak to... Uh, my goodness, it's really hard to read with, you know, there are so many mistakes in the translation. Um, I should speak to that Seiji guy later too. They appear to have some kind of appointment. The two bid Riho farewell and walk off together. Okay, so before we actually go to the Kotoshiro residence, first we're heading back to Restaurant Bear. We're going to do a little bit of um, sort of sightseeing, I should say, or, you know, uh, consider this a visiting places, you know, that, that uh, may provide clues for us and also add more information that we are going to need later on. So anyway, they go back to the restaurant bear where they dined with Kosaku the night prior. Riho, それに、綾音さんが去り際に三重に行ってた明日はあなたも来るのってことは。あれ、つまり、高作さんが実家である小年ロケを訪ねる予定だったってことじゃないかな。つまり、高作さんの死に綾音さんというより、小年ロケが関
今年ロケで使用人をされていますご予約のお名前もそちらの方だったので間違いないと思いますあーそうでしたそうでした牧田和也さんでしたありがとうございます Ryo gets the name of the person Ayane was supposed to meet with. After thanking the waiter a few times, the two leave the restaurant. What's funny is that Ryo didn't bother, you know, to ask what Kosaku ordered, what drink they ordered, because I feel like the waiter would be able to check what that was and they could immediately figure out if, you know, Kosaku drank anything. Alcoholic and rule out the possibility of drunk driving again. Mama, so no kage de machiavasi aite wa katta janai. Te yuko igoi datta no. Do mi temo kareshi o matte ru te kanji datta kero. O aite wa shiyou nin no hito ka. Shotto kanke se ga kini naru tokoro ne. Hmm. Kosaku san no machiavasi aite ga sono hito datta kano se mo aru shi. Okay, so again, before we go to Katoshiro residence, we're going to go on a little bit of a trip. So let's head to Mihono Seki. Then Miho Khan, right here. Upon returning to the inn, Riho clasp,、uh, claps her hands together. So, that, Manabe, Tashka, Kosak Santo Shokuji Stertoki, Camera Mawasteta, you know. Eh? Eh? Table no when you keep Panashte Mawasteta da Kedakido. I still feel like it would have been much easier if, you know, I honestly feel like it, it would be much easier if they had just asked the waiter for this information. Manabi hurriedly takes out her camcorder and puts the SD card with yesterday's data in it. She then searches through the screen for a while before finding the point where the dinner party started. Also, you have to wonder where exactly the camera was placed <laughs> for them to be able to show this as the shot of whatever was recorded. ほらこらお友達の前なんだからちゃんとなさいはーいお飲み物はいかがいたしますかそうだな私は車なのでこれノンアルコールで梨の宴というやつを And there it is Very important information So let's remember that Kosaku ordered a non-alcoholic drink at the restaurant Very very important ってるわね車だからノンアルコール出ってうん念のため他にオーダーしてないか確認してみてえ一応工作さんが立ち去るまでを確認してみたけど同じドリンクをお代わりしただけで飲酒はしてないわねうんやっぱり三重のお父さん
Riho simply remains silent and gazes at Kosaku's corpse, covered by the blue sheet. And with that, we're heading to Kotoshiro Residence. They arrived at the address Ayane gave them and find the Kotoshiro family's estate. Or at least what seems to be their estate. A white wall stretches across the entire entire length of the road and walk, th walk though they might, the gate doesn't seem to come into view. Riho can't help but look up to the heavens and cry out in frustration when a familiar voice reaches her ears. Well, Kimi <laughs> Ayana's pleasant laughter spills over Riho and Manabe, who are absolutely dripped with sweat. Ten minutes later, Riho and Manabe finally find the main gate, after which they are greeted and ushered in by Ayane. <sighs> <笑>俺もこちらにお邪魔するところだったから、ちょうど良かったよ。聞いたら最初に着いたところから反対側に進めば正門すぐだったのにね。わざわざ反対方向にぐるっと一周してたみたいだから。見たくで絶対外れの方
Then man be again? Mosi, Kosak san no shiga, jiken da to stara. So there are Kono Ochino Toshu Arasoni, Kakawa Koto da to Moimaska. Hm, so there are Kono de Sokto Sudona, or no Tachiba da Muzukashina. Ima Subetano Kanose o Kangaiti Ruta Gadaya. Ma, so this you ne. But given the timing of his death, it only makes sense to assume it has to do with the succession feud. Again, just keep talking until the scene progresses where Man Bei leaves. Sukko. カズヤも改造人として、お小森の部屋の隣で待機させられてるし、本当退屈してたんだよね。リホたち来てくれてよかった。でもまあ、あと1時間もしないで終わると思うから、それまで待ってなよ。うん、それじゃあ儀式終わ
reflected in the viewfinder was Seiji's motionless form. Manabe could already tell that he had completely passed on. The two converse rather monotonously owing to fatigue. After the whole incident took place, Manba told them that the place was off limits and Riho and Manabe returned to the Miho Inn. ぞく殺人ってことかな。少なくとも政治さんについては殺人としか思えないし、アルコールが検出されなかった工作さんについてもその疑いは濃くなるわね。でも政治さんについては奥森の部屋密室だよ。悲鳴が上がった時、それぞ
I hope so, yeah. So we can only do one thing here, actually. Talk to Kazuya. ねのため聞きたいんですけど、あそこの廊下を通った人物もアヤネオ嬢様が一度往復した木で他は誰もいなかったんですからケイ okay. that's a clue but we all know that because Ayane did get those ice cream uh, popsicles when incident happened no one walked through the corridor after Ayane passed through アヤネさんが通った時ってあれでしょ私たちにアイスを持ってきてくれた時 ああ、あれか。そうです、そうです。奥の台所に行かれたんでしょう。帰りにアイスをいくつか持って戻ってきてましたから。それ以外は一人も通っていませんよ。それは一緒にいた刑事さんも保証してくれるはずです。そもそも
The Kotoshiro estate is surrounded by patrol cars. A crowd of onlookers is standing a distance away, whispering curiously among themselves. Riho crossed through the audience, and they were ushered in once they told the police they were related to the case. Here, we are heading <laughs> to the residence room. Ryoko and Ayane are in the parlor. Ryoko regards Riho and Manabe with cold eyes, but Ayane, by contrast, gestures for them to come closer. So here, again, we have to talk to these two until we've exhausted all the dialogue options uh, from them. <sighs> もう<笑> やっぱりお嬢様なんだね。え家族それぞれに専用の冷蔵庫あるのって普通じゃないのなわけないでしょう。そんなのあっても何入れとけばいいのかわかんないよ。Ryoko looks Riho and Manabe over with an expressionless face and parts her lips to speak. あやねから話は聞いています。Ryoko's attitude wasn't particularly oppressive, but Riho speaks while feeling oddly pressured. あの、Sensing that Riho is being overwhelmed by Ryoko's pressure, Manabe follows up. しかし、先代の当主の方が亡くなって、次期当主を決める。そんなタイミングで候補の一人である高作さんが亚くなったのは不自然とは思いませんか。さあ、それもわかりません。あえて言うなら、今年らの貴様のお怒りかと。そんな
今年ろ主が嫌うからとかででも昨晩私たちと食事をした時耕作さんは全くそれを気にせず鶏肉料理をオーダーしてましただから Ryoko had listened to Riho with closed eyes, but opens them, opens them silently upon hearing this. Naruhodo. Osorak sono mikomi wa atte iru desho. Watashi mo so mite imashita. Akuma de tetsuzuki to shite sanka suru dake de. Somo somo toshu ni naru ki wa nai no daro to. Ryoko san mo so mo ware te itan desu ka? Somo somo so yu mono ni shiu chaku o shite nai kara. 彼はこの家を捨てたのです。今さら当主の座を欲しがるような人でもないでしょう。ですね。I don't think Ryoko is lying. I thought Ryoko would profit the most from Seiji's death since the position of family head fell to her. And if she knew Kosaku wasn't a rival to that position, she had no motive to kill him. ああ。あやねあところで。So yeah, we have to make sure that we don't miss any dialogue before we leave. あはい。みえさん、どう言いましたか工作さんの忘れがたみは。はい。みえ、青とみえです。青と家の人間とはいえ、私にとっては血のつながったメイっ子であることに変わりはありません。生活に困らぬ程度の援助は惜しまぬつもりですから困ったらすぐに相談に来るようにとお伝えくださいおはい Riho did worry for Mie who had lost her father's financial support and so she was relieved by Ryoko's words if this was true Mie would not have to struggle to make a living So yeah, we've exhausted all dialogue. Oh, I'm sorry. I accidentally pressed it, but yeah, we've exhausted all the dialogue options. So let's leave. Okay, from here we're going to go out and head to the pier. Okay, here we go. Rio comes to the wharf. Upon seeing Mie there, her breath catches in her throat. She places a bouquet she'd bought somewhere on the wharf. There's no sign of the police anymore. The wharf is quiet and serene as if nothing had happened. Rio approaches Mie, who stands still and quiet and speaks to her. そうしようと思ったんだけどどうしても落ち着かなくてそうあのねみえ一つだけささやかだけどいい知らせがあるよみえのお父さん血中のアルコール濃度検査で何も出てこなかったんだってつまりみえの言った通りお父さんは飲
Upon entering the restaurant, Riho speaks to the waiter that served them yesterday. おで、今日は何かお食事というわけではなさそうですが。実は昨日こちらでお食事させてもらった時、同席していた人が飲んでたノンアルコールカクテルあったんですが、ちょっとその成分知りたくて。ほう。成分ですか。ええ。ちょっ
儀式の間に何らかの理由でついたってことうん問題はその理由なんだけど Then we're examining the crossbow We have to do this、uh, twice ボーガンってやつですよねああ私が刀を破った時に崩してしまったが、この辺りにほらそこの布をかぶせて置かれていたらしいどうもあたりにある箱で固定されてた節もあるんだがなんでこんなものがこの部屋に。ああ、私が刀を破った時に崩してしまったが、この辺りにほらそこの布をかぶせて置かれていたらしいどうもあたりにある箱で固定されてた節もあるんだがなんでこんなものがこの部屋にそれがどうやら政治士が以前買ったものらしくてね。Let's remember this as well. The crossbow was bought by Seiji. Eh? Gore, Seiji san, honey no mono nan deska? Nah, Jitsu a kare, soon am I ni ko nyu ste, kinjo no dobu tso uttari ste tara shik te ne. Sho no ho de kakni ste mora tara, choju ai go ho i han de, bakkin ke o krat te da yo. He do i koto sure na. それで両腰にこっぴどく怒られて普段は使わないこの部屋にしまってたらしいそれが今回たまたま発射されて彼を死に至らしめたそんな偶然ないですよねそもそも矢をつがえたまましまうわけないしうん普通に考えればそのはずだが Again, examine the crossbow. あれここに何か糸が。Riho whispers after looking closely at the crossbow. True enough, there's a string tied around the crossbow's trigger. It severed some four inches along the length of the string. これ、なんだろうどうも、ピンを糸で固定していたような形跡があるんだが、まだはっきりしていないんだ。糸を切ることで矢が発射されるようになっていたようなんだがね。それじゃあ、部屋の中にいなくても糸を切って聖司さんを殺すことができたってことですかその可能性はあるが残っている糸を見る限りせいぜい10センチ前後この位置で糸を切るには部屋の中にいないと無理だろうそもそも悲鳴を聞いた時全員この部屋の近くにはいなかったんだからね最も近い位置にいたのは和也君だが彼は私と一緒にいたし。Then we're gonna examine this fish bowl twice as well. 金魚鉢か。ミステリーだと、こういうので火事を起こしたりってのがあるんだけど。太陽光をレンズのように集めることによって起こる修練火災ってやつね。水の入ったペットボトルで布団が発火した例もあるそうよ。もっとも。この金魚鉢には水がほとんど入ってないからそんな現象は起こりえないけど確かにちょっぴりしか水入ってないもんね Examine it again? うーんでもなんか気になるんだよなこれそもそも儀式をする部屋に金魚鉢しかも空のなんて不自然だし Riho crosses her arms in thought for a moment. The sights she'd seen flash through her mind. What? 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 A bit overwhelmed by Riho's aggressiveness, Manabe searches through her camcorder's memory. She hands Riho the camera with the preview monitor replaying the moment they discovered Seiji's body. Riho looks at the footage intently and whispers. そこにあるのと映像とよく比べてみて映像の方の金魚鉢には水が全く入ってないわ
interesting, interesting, <laughs> interesting, right? But I feel like you guys have also pieced, you know, the solution to this mystery together. なのに今そこにある金魚鉢にはちょっぴりだけど水が入ってる。ママケーブ、警官の誰かがここに水を入れたとかないですよね。もちろん。現場保存が原則なのに、そんなことする人間がいるわけがないよ。つまりこれ、
Ayane replies with an odd, somewhat squeaky voice at being named. Ayane moan and complaint but steps up to the plate nonetheless. Seemingly satisfied, Riho takes a single deep breath and parts her lips to speak. この2つの死、高作さんと誠司さんについて解明するにあたって最も困ったのは2つの事件に共通する犯人が見当たらないということでした。高作さんをあの日、死に至らしめることができる機会があったのは誠司さんだけ。他の方は全員アリバイを持っ
So yeah, unresolved max mode. So that's the fifth one that we did. Just so select continue. Uh, let's go and, you know, complete this chapter's max mode. Okay, so the correct answer to this is there are faint burn marks on the tatami mat. So let's select that.え、修練火災って知ってますか鏡や水の入ったペットボトルがレンズの役割を果たして太陽光によって火災が起こるんです。犯人は今回のトリックにそれを利用した。その痕跡が畳の焦げた跡なんです。いやいやいやいや。
金魚鉢の形を利用すればもっと簡単ですまずわずかな水を入れた金魚鉢を横倒しにして冷凍庫で凍らせる次に反対側に水を少し入れて同様に凍らせればこれで一見水の入っていないように見える金魚鉢の完成ですおそらくその際に曇ったり水滴がついたりすることのないように曇り止めスプレーか中性洗剤で金魚鉢をコーティングしてあったでしょうそうしてできた仕掛けは時間が経てば氷は溶けてしまうし金魚鉢にはわずかな水が残されるだけ犯行後には一見してそれが修練効果に利用されたとはわからないというわけです犯人はそんな風に凍らせておいた金魚鉢を冷凍庫に保存しておきタイミングを見計らっておこもりの間の小窓からそっと事前にテストしておいた位置に置いた誠司さんは正面に向かって恵比寿サイモンを唱えていたのですからちょっとやそっとの物音は気づきませんやがて時間が経つと日光の修練効果で糸が焼き切れボウガンの矢が発射されるそしてそれができるのは台所を経由して戻ってきたあやねさんどうやらここまでっぽいね。And there we have it. Truth revealed. Ayana's expression completely changes and she shrugs as if a weight had been taken off her shoulders. So, it's all right. I did it. I was drunk. 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 工作おじさんだってそう勝手に家を飛び出して後のことは全部お母さんに尻拭いさせて今までこの家を何とか支えてきたのはお母さんなんだだったらそういう人が当主になるのが当然でしょあやねあなたまでもリホたちには巻き込んじゃって悪いことしたと思ってるマジごめんね Ayane speaks with her usual bright tone. There is no sign of regret in her expression. If anything, she looks refreshed and relieved. Mie, who had kept silent until then, suddenly speaks up. Her face is contorted with so much anger. Riho had never seen her like this. そこまでしなくたってよかったじゃないなんでなんでお父さんまでミエのお父さんのことは知らないよえ私は工作おじさんを殺してない死んだって聞いた時は本当にびっくりしたけどそもそも政治のクソじじいがありえないってだけで工作おじさんが戻ってきて当主になるならそれはそれで構わないと思ってたしねそんな嘘ならなんで Rio steps forward as if to stop Mie from pressing any more on Ayane. Rio? Mie, Ayane san no itte r koto wa honto da yo. Ayane, so んな to tara han ni wa. Rio shakes her head and after a pause tells Mie the truth. Are wa dare ka no s h i w a a janai. Honto ni tada no jiko da tan da yo. 事故ミエ工作さんが高血圧を患ってるって言ってたよね薬も飲んでるってう,うん原因はそれとレストランで注文したドリンク梨の宴だったんだえ梨の宴ってうん高血圧の薬を飲んでる時は一緒に摂取しちゃいけないものがあるんだよ食べると薬が効きすぎて血圧がすごく下がってしまうの人によっては
立っていられなくなったり意識を失ってしまったりそれってじゃあレストランで耕作さんが口にしたノンアルコールカクテル梨の宴あれには梨とグレープフルーツが使われていたグレープフルーツが危険であることは薬を出す時に説明されてたと思うけど梨の宴というネーミングからまさかそれが入ってるとは思わなかったんだろうねそれを飲んだせいで耕作さんは運転中に気を失ったんだと思うそんなわ私がそれに気づいてればお父さんは死なずに済んだミエのせいじゃない本当に不幸な偶然が重なっただけなんだでもでも<笑><笑>ミエ breaks down in tears and Riho embraces her gently. Behind them, Manba quietly leads Ayane out of the room. The next day, Riho, who had solved everything, is exploring the banks of Lake Shinji with Munabe. Manabi gently pats Riho on the head. Manabi <laughs> Manabe sighs in exasperation and turns her camcorder at Riho. こうして私たちの最初の事件との出会いは終わりましたすべての人を救うなんて無理だけど大切な友人だけでも救えたなら私は満足です次の舞台石見の国でまたお会いしましょうまあまあのできってとこねああまたいつもの厳しい真鍋にSo yeah, that is the end of Riho's first chapter in this game. In um, let me just let me just lower the volume. But yeah, that's the end of Riho's first chapter for this game for Root Film. Now, um, the the case itself is pretty basic. You know, um, I'm actually a fan. <laughs> you know, I'm I'm interested in. Should I say in in mysteries involving uh, you know closed rooms or locked room mysteries? Those are prolific in like uh, Detective Conan or case closed animes, and I'm I'm a fan of him of you know of Detective Conan of that show always presenting the solution to cases involving locked uh, rooms or closed rooms, and I was expecting something more from from you know this uh mystery that we ended up solving and as always the game is dotted 
this uh, mystery as well with a lot of red herrings although it was a little bit obvious personally speaking it was obvious that um the culprit behind the murder is um is you know is ayane um I, i'm actually a quite fond of <laughs> Riho's chapters and I'm looking forward to the next episode where we'll be playing her part 2 so you know until then you guys know the drill dream on fly on keep safe everyone thanks for watching Different things for you